Hello, welcome to Donna Creation and More. Today is a collaboration of talented creators. The host is Aria of DIY with Aria, Loli with Loli's Creation. The guest hosts are Katie with Lady Red Crafting and co-host Lisa from Our Gray House. Here I'm going to show you how I make these beautiful glam shells to put over your stove. Some beautiful kitchen decor. Here I have these white shells I got from Dollar Tree and I painted them black. And I'm going to use three and I have these mirrors here I just ordered from um, Dollar Tree off their website. And I'm going to use three of these. I'm just hot gluing them together just for the moment and don't mind that shelf it's already on there that will be taken off hot glue does not hold on mirror so then I'm just running a bead of hot glue along the back temporarily I do end up adding E6000 and I will secure more and we will do that later on in the video after the E6000 sets for a bit. Now I'm going to take my E6000 and put it along the front on the bottom. And yes, I know these mirrors are cracked along the bottom. I contacted Dollar Tree website and they refunded me but we're not going to see it so I'm going to use them. So I put some E6000 there and put in some hot glue just to hold it in place while the E6000 sets up. Right now I have here are some Jenga blocks and I'm going to put them on the back that way I, I can attach some double sided foam tape to it to hang it up so here it is right now with eight Jenga blocks attached to the three mirrors and I also on each corner contact added some E6000 and we're going to let that sit and dry and then come back. Now we're going to add some supports. I have some popsicle sticks here that I've cut. I'm just going to hot glue them in between the two Jenga blocks. Secure them on each end of the Jenga blocks. And then take a long stick and run it down in between the seam of the two mirrors. And I'm going to continue this on the other side. As you see, I did add my foam tape onto the back of the jingle block. Securing it more with the hot glue. Then I'm just going to cut some little pieces off to finish filling in and hot glue them in place. That way our three mirrors have support in the back even though we added the hot glue and E6000. This will keep it straight from bending and hold it together. Now we're going to continue to the front. I have these mirror tiles that I bought off Amazon. So I'm going to add them along the edge on the very top of these shelves. And while I'm doing that, let me take a moment and let everybody know that the link to the playlist will be in my description box. 
for you all to check out everybody else's creations if you're interested. I would appreciate it if you do. And also consider subscribing if you're one of my crafty friend subscribers. Welcome back. Here the mirror didn't fix. So I'm just going to score it. And then take my wire cutter. And just snap the glass. So it'll fit in that gap. I'm just going to hurry up and fast forward and continue on adding these tiles. These mirrors are brand new on Dollar Tree website. I said on a box for Mother's Day. They're not even out in stores yet. So if you're interested in them, go on their website now. And then here I have different types of playing wrap. Some, the one is mirror and diamond. The other one is this a whole bunch of little rhinestones. Then I have smaller mirror tiles. So I'm just trying to decide what design I want. And if you already follow me, you know I changed my mind. <laughs> And of course that's what I do during this video. So right now I'm just going to add some mirror tiles. If you do follow me, I just did a chandelier for over top my island in my kitchen. I will be doing a part two of that video because I'm not happy with how the top is. I want to add more crystals. So stay tuned for that video. You know how it is, you look at something over and over again, then you decide you just gotta do more. <laughs> so it has to be fixed. So I'm gonna take this really pretty mirrored diamond bling stickers that I got off of Amazon. But they're super pretty. Matches my decor in my kitchen. If you followed me, I do have a planter that I made out of Dollar Tree signs. And I used the same type of stuff. And I wanted this to match. Because my whole kitchen is glam. And I will also be doing two more glam prod, actually several. Um, one for my window. And get ready to redo my cabinet, my backsplash. And that will all be done on upcoming videos this week. Gonna get these projects done and get my kitchen ready for spring. I've been wanting to do these projects for a while and I've had the mirrors to do it and all the supplies. I just haven't gotten a chance to do it. Perfect time to get it done. And I'm also gonna show you a way to make over the Dollar Tree fabric boxes, pop up boxes. I apologize if you can't see everything. This is a really weird angle and a really big project it's super long and I'm doing it in my kitchen counter on my kitchen counter so I zoom in where you can see here I'm adding the rhinestone ribbon it has like a bunch of little diamonds
see I had these mirrors here and I changed my mind. As always. Just like I'm gonna do with my chandelier, it don't feel complete to me. And I'll probably end up it's bothering me finishing it later today. And do a part two on that video or just upload a whole new video. So here I'm removing the two bottom layers so I decided to put the same rhinestone ribbon on the bottom here. This stuff is pretty reasonable price on Amazon. I do not have an Amazon store yet. I really need to open one. So you guys can just click on the link and get these items. But if you're interested, just let me know and I can always copy the link and give it to you otherwise just look for rhinestone ribbon and mirror tiles on amazon i want to say i'm super excited i just reached over a hundred 800 subscribers this past weekend. Yay! When I get to 1k, I'm doing a giveaway and it looks like I'm gonna do an Amazon gift card. Simple and easy. And then I'll have to figure out a really special project for that giveaway because we're gonna be doing a live premiere. When I do it. New exciting things coming to this channel soon. Soon as I'm able to. Through YouTube. I can't wait till I can interact with you guys. And chat and have fun. So if you'd like glam, please check out my other videos. I have a whole playlist on different glam decor. I will also add that link below in my description box also. And please consider subscribing. And join me on this journey. Never know what I'm going to come up with. I do all types of DIYs. Even up to doing fake bakes and all I love doing too. And I'll be bringing jewelry and resin onto my channel. And uh, of course I'm always going to keep my blingy glam. So that's just my thing. So here's what it looks like so far. On each end on the right and the left, I did add the diamond type ribbon, which this was add a frame. And then on the inside, I'm gonna add the rhinestone ribbon just to cover the edge. And then we'll get a quick look at the final reveal and in the final reveal the butterflies that are shown are on another video I just did them and I will put the link in the description box below so please check out my description box for the playlist link the butterfly link and the glam link And I want 
to say thank you for watching. God bless. Have a wonderful weekend. And here is the final review. I think it turned out super pretty. What do you think? Cheap, easy, over the stove, little glam decor. I didn't even have to use the double sided tape that sits evenly and perfectly right on top of the stove. If I do have any issues, then I will take the and secure it with the double sided tape. Thanks for watching. I'm here to inspire you. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you very much. God bless.